Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a while, but you know, school is tough and quarantine made it worse. So, I will be doing an unboxing, as you can see from the title. So, May 20th was my birthday. I turned 18. Happy birthday to me. You know, fun times. All good stuff. All good jazz. Um, and for my birthday, I got a little party indoors where my family you know video call facetime messenger roomed <laughs> uh and then i had a candy table which just is way too much candy i still have jars and jars of candy um so yeah welcome to the unboxing and i will actually start unboxing sephora yay okay thumbnail so I'm just gonna leave that down there um, so I got like like $250 worth of stuff for my birthday so I got like $250 worth of stuff for my birthday well, actually like $200 $45 was for my mom's boom boom cream and she's like extra mad that it was that high like sis then don't get your lotion then Cushion. So first I want to start out with the samples because you know they're samples. So I got the Tom Ford lipstick. This was the promo thingy. And I was choosing between this and the the spend 25, spend 50, spend 75 skincare thing. And I would have gotten to choose three things since I obviously spent over $75. And I chose this, which I thought I knew it was gonna be small. But I didn't know it was gonna be a baby one. Like, look at this. It's literally a baby, like. <laughs> and the shade name is Casablanca. I tried all these things out beforehand, so I don't have to like try them here. I might make a video like trying individual things like the palettes or the kits, but I'm not gonna like do it here. This is just the unboxing of it. Uh, but yeah, Tom Ford, Casablanca. And it matches the shade of my bottom lip. So, essentially it is what the beauty gurus would call a nude color. Then I got this perfume sample. Cumbergall. Bull. What? Okay, yeah, Bulgari. That's how you say it. Okay, whatever. It smells super good. Like, little perfume sample. And then I wanted another perfume sample because honestly the samples are just these little packets so you can't really do much with them anyways. But I got this highlight like trio sample thingy because I figured if I'm going to get a packet sample I might as well have like multiple things in there I can use. So I'm going to try these one day I guess. It's Becca. So for the birthday gift I chose the Boom Boom Cream because my mom got hers. Um, earlier this year and I smelled it and I was like oh I want one but then I didn't want to like pay for it because it's I don't like dippy type things like lip balms or lotions or creams or whatever I don't like to dip my fingers into it so I would never actually buy the full big one because then that would require me to dip my whole hand into it to just pick it up so got this I'm gonna use this as a hand cream when it starts getting like colder because like as right now it's super hot so why would I put on a lot of hand cream so this is the one that i chose the other options were milk makeup a little set of that and a brigeo like hair thingy lighting question mark now this this was the main thing that i wanted it is <laughs> the sephora favorites freshly squeezed and it has the glow recipe avocado melt retinol sleeping mask the mark jacobs beauty travel size uh, youth quake hydrofoil retexturizing gel cream milk makeup full size watermelon brightening face mask Ole Henriksen banana bright eye cream which people hate the size of it but it's like an eye cream so like chill out but all of the reviews I read they were like so mad like they didn't read that this was supposed to be a little sample but okay and then the Sephora Collection Lychee Face Mask. Uh, Sephora Collection Full Size. Oh, that was full size because obviously it's a face mask. And then 
the Sephora Collection Full Size Dragon Fruit Lip Balm in Too Faced Cosmetics Travel Size, uh, Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer Mini. If that's the mini, I want to see the full size because, dude, look at this. This is mini? You're lying. That's way big. Also, I love this box. It's a nice box. Like, I'm going to take this, like, plasticky packaging out and then just put the stuff in here and close it and probably put the little samples from there in here but I just want to keep it for like now and display purposes um but honestly it's a it's a nice little box and it's hard anyways this is the size of the Ole Henriksen uh eye cream and people were so mad like why number one it's an eye cream so you don't really need that much and number two it's a sample that's what they told you pay attention next time and then this is the milk makeup i keep forgetting it's not a pull and it's a twist um see look at that i've yet to use it but people's number one complaints and uh reviews were that it doesn't smell like watermelon which is true it doesn't smell like watermelon at all and that's very uh disheartening anyways this is cute this is the lip balm and the packaging is cute and i like pink so this is great for me um the galore recipe you know it's this size it's not anything and it smells good actually not like avocados although avocados don't really have a smell and they don't really have a taste to be quite honest oh my god this is always the problem get out thank you first of all can i just say packaging wise this is the best thing in here because it looks amazing and it's heavy i like when things are heavy feels way more expensive i mean this is expensive i was like dust on it um like Ugh. um but yeah it's nice and heavy there's not that much like product in it like it's a little it's a little pot inside of this why isn't this like do the beauty guru thingy okay mm. it smells like normal lotion but it smells good and it feels good i put this on my face yesterday probably yeah today's thursday so yesterday and then I'm not gonna take out the face mask, so last but not least is this. Look at that. But like, look at this. That's a lot. And especially because it's a primer, unless you're like using this as a full face primer, like I don't wear foundation. So for me, this is a lot of product to just like use on my eyes or like on my cheeks. Like it's not, <laughs> hey, I don't know, but that was for favorites. Nice little unboxing. Um, yay. Just put that behind me. Cute. Then I got this little triangle from Milk Makeup, which it doesn't exist anymore. Like literally, it's not even like sold out. They're making more. It doesn't exist because when you go um, to click on it, it says this product does not exist. But here's other products you might like. Meaning that I, I got the last batch, which, ah! Okay, meaning that I got the last batch, which means that um that I am among the lucky few to get this set and try it without having to spend all the money to try each individual product. But there's a baby lip balm in here. Like it's literally like I like tiny things. Like look at it. And it's all First of all, let me tell you, I did not know that these all had like hemp oil, like CBD or whatever in it. Um, I already ordered it at that time, but I was looking through what I got to like just remember. And I don't know why I thought it was like, I don't know. I just thought Kush was the name. I didn't know it had Kush in it. So dumb on my part, but 
it doesn't smell bad so and i'm 18 now so it's fine hello thank you and then this is a clear brow gel clearly doesn't look like anything because uh it's clear although what i was going to say is is that these products like feel a little bit dry like this is like the last batch they just had overflow of like product and they just put it all together oh that feels nice um but it's not like saturated although this is small so it kind of makes sense why this isn't saturated per se but like this mascara is literally full size right which heavy i like it it's super nice and heavy but when you open it oh, okay well now it's coated but before it wasn't there's a little freaking like knob of mascara on the edge but um it's fun very fun yeah it smells weird i mean mascara doesn't really smell nice but still next i got this fly baby uh mini eye primer and liner set you know and i got it because well first of all the only thing that i actually do need to prime is my eyelids because my eyelids are like super oily um so i figured that this would be good and also get a new eyeliner because the only one that i have right now is the one that i got last year from the birthday set the Kat Von D tattoo liner because you know I don't really wear liner given the fact that I've put it eyelids so I pay for a liner so yeah I have two of those because my mom gave me hers and I want to see like other ones so quick little review on this love the shape love that you can put the cap on here because it's kind of like annoying to like find a place to put a tiny little cap and then make sure you don't knock it over and lose it but I like the shape and the fact that you can put the cap um, and this is like a black black um, and it's called cuz I'm black so like better be black you know <laughs> and it's just like it's really good but it it doesn't dry as quick as the tattoo liner so that's the one complaint but also like you know whatever so main complaint is this this is dry right like I had to swirl it around yesterday just to like get some out but it doesn't like coat you know like it's kind of like just on one side whatever side it is and it's just like I don't know and like I said these are like trial products these are like baby sized they're not supposed to be like the full size but that doesn't mean that they don't have to be good because like if anything you would make the trial size better because you want people to buy the full size next i got this freaking baby urban decay and i got the oranges and the next time i want to get the reds i think it's all reds like with like a gray in there or something like that but this is which one is this oh the highway queen mini but from the on the run like thing there's a big one and then there's all the minis i got the highway queen one because i like all the oranges and look at it oh there's a mirror why am i blind i did not notice that there was a mirror yesterday okay anyways so there's a mirror but look at these colors they're amazing dude amazing look at it look at him so i like this and i'm probably gonna use this when i uh do my graduation videos for the school because you know we have to do that now because we're not graduating in person they're gonna like mash our video together and then they'll send it to us when we're done but like do we really want that no we want a real graduation so the next urban decay the cherry palette see and that's why i like warm colors so oranges reds those are really nice um Thank you. It's a good thing I cut my nails because if not, that would have been horrible. Anyways, like I said, like heavy stuff. So, oh, and it's nice and heavy. You can hear the brush in it. 
One thing I like about this is that the mirror goes all the way like down, like flat. So like, let's say the brush wasn't in here, like I was using the brush. I can hold it like this upside down and actually put it to my face. You know how good that is. Like, I can put it to my face, my actual eyeballs. I hate when you're doing your makeup and the mirror's like this, so you have to go like, it's so weird. So, you know, I just use my regular mirror, but this is good. The only problem is, is that mine like got a little bit like, I don't know, like jizzed around in the box, I guess, because there was like some sediments around the first two shades in there, like right here. But look at this though. And I felt the brushes, they're nice and soft. Um, and these colors are amazing. Like, look at that, all deep. And then the shimmers are so nice. Oh, also another thing that I like about these are that the insides are like, they say, not say, but like show things. Like the cherry one has cherries and the city one has um, like a city grid on it. You know, like in GTA, when you're like looking at the map and you can see like the streets, like, yeah, like that. The last thing that I got is this Sephora Favorites um, thing where you get the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the mini makeup eraser, like not the original, but like the small one. Um, Laneige, 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 the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, um, the Milk Makeup Cooling Water, which is actually really cool, and the Tarte C 4-in-1 Setting Mist. Um, yeah. But the only thing that's full size in here is the the milk makeup cooling water, which is what I wanted it for anyway, so I don't freaking care. Um, but literally the cooling water's price is $26 and the bag is $28. So I don't really think it matters what you get because if you didn't get it in the bag, even if you just got the actual cooling water in the bag, that means that the bag is $2, which it's a pretty cute bag for two dollars you know so i don't know why people were like complaining about the bag in the reviews but i guess they're a little bit more bougie than me or they don't really think practically like i get you're supposed to be getting a deal but if i was actually in the store and they told me buy the cooling water for 26 dollars and you get a makeup bag free I, that that'd be a deal to me <laughs> so the fact that you're getting to try all these other products especially this the charlotte tilbury freaking magic cream is a hundred dollars full size so you get to try like a pretty good amount which also you get nice packaging um so even if you don't like really like it you still can put it on your vanity or dresser and it'll look nice but the full size is a hundred dollars so like sis at least you get to try this you're paying for the price of this and essentially the bag because two extra dollars does it really cover all of this no so if you were to buy this you'd get this in the bag and then all these samples with like nice packaging what's the problem here but um yeah i felt this too this feels nice back to the freaking cooling water i got distracted um it actually feels really cool like it actually cools and people also said that it only cools for like two seconds maybe it's because I'm like more sensitive to touch or whatever but it cools to me um and then you get this baby freaking makeup eraser where did I open it there we go and I didn't know that one side was to exfoliate I thought it was just to clean your makeup off but apparently the side with the tag you exfoliate with I mean like it doesn't feel different to me oh well the fibers are longer over here but look at it it's cute like cheek for reference it's like from my mouth corner to my ear and it feels soft so and it's gonna be good because you know right now you can't go outside so once I run out of makeup wipes I won't be able to get any more at least not from Primark and that's where I get them from like, I intentionally get them from Primark. I know that there are other places that sell them and stuff like that, but it's $2 for two packs. That's 50 wipes for $2. Come on. You know how many packs you can get? 
like on Sephora, it's eight dollars, meaning I could get eight packs. Come on, this is cute, very uh, nice. It's kind of like the size of the original one, like not the exact size, obviously, um, because it has like this little thing down here, so it's not the full canister that's filled. It's only like a little portion of it, but um. You know, it's it's filled. It, it does its thing. It smells really nice. <laughs> and it's a nice trial size to try because, again, like, for me personally, I don't like pots to dip into, so I would never actually get this unless I got one of those little spoons to dip into things. But it's a nice little size to try it and see if you actually like it because you don't need to put on that much lip balm. Or, well, this is sleeping mask, but... And then the last thing we have in here is the, oh, why is this peeling up? They put like a new sticker on it. There's a sticker behind it. Why do they put a new sticker on it? Is it the same barcode? No. So what? Am confusion. Okay. Anyways, this entire thing is setting spray. It's a nice size to try it out, I guess because unless you like use a whole bunch you can try it out and again I don't really wear foundation so I don't really care about the size but if you do this is still a nice size to try it out I still don't understand why people are so hurt like this is the full size product if you want this product this is the best bag to get <laughs> so given the fact that I wanted to try this getting all these other little testers and a makeup bag is pretty good so I don't understand what people's problems are, but anyways, and especially this Charlotte Tilbury magic cream, like honestly, you don't need to use that much. It's face cream and it's a hundred dollars for the full size. So you get a pretty decent size to at least see like if you want it, because you're not supposed to put like 12 layers of cream on your face. So I'd say it's all pretty good, even if it was small, like the Laneige sleeping mask. It's a pretty good uh, trial size, especially since most of the the price of the bag comes from the full size ingredient ingredient item. Okay, so that was that on that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want more unboxings, hauls, vlog of my birthday party, perhaps. Um, an actual review of the products in here because I'm I'm gonna record it whether you want it or not I'm just saying it'd be better if you actually did want it um and you know see you later bye oh also like follow me on tiktok I only have 300 followers and most of those followers are from musically so they don't even like count now because they're inactive Follow me on TikTok at Keely's Trash. My display name is Sarcasm. I chose it when I was in eighth grade and never changed it. Um, so follow me on freaking TikTok. And also follow me on Instagram at Keely's Trash. I'm very consistent except when I'm not. Um, so, you know, or just search Keely Newsome. I'm most likely the only one there. So just do that. Thank you. Follow me on socials. All links down below. Do that. Bye. Bye. <laughs>